Hi guys, I'm Tommy Vaughn, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my ethical and sustainable fashion project in Communications 101. So, before doing this project, my perception of ethical and sustainable fashion um, was that I didn't really know too much about it, but I do remember that when I was younger, I had a piece of Nike clothing, and it had a Made in China tag on it, um, and then I realized that I had a bunch of other clothes that all said Made in China. And in particular, Nike, I thought they were a USA-based brand. Um, so I thought it was weird that I had a Made in China tag on it. Um, and it made me think to myself, like, if it's not made where the company is based, then how is it real, per se? And it made me think that it was a little bit fake, in a way. Um, and the fact that I had other clothes that all had Made in China tags on them... Maybe just think a little bit about how, why is everything being made in other countries rather than the U.S.? Um, and so after doing this project, my perception is now a little bit sad about these clothes um, due to the fact that there's thousands and millions of people in these developing countries that are not being paid what they should be paid to make these clothes. They work 12 hours a day tirelessly and make thousands of products and are paid almost a minimal amount. And not only this, they're working in terrible conditions. Um, many of their factories have collapsed. Um, many, many diseases have been spread. They don't drink from clean water. Um, the temperatures of their work conditions are not great. Um, so yeah, my perception now after doing this project is I'm a little disappointed to see that all my clothes come from a place like this and that the people that put in all this time to make these clothes are not being paid what they should be paid. And most of all is the fact that these clothes are all using unsustainable material. Um, like for example, a t-shirt that I have takes 713 gallons of water just to make a cotton t-shirt. And this water can be used for many different things like giving it to people who don't have water to drink um, and it's, it's just sad to see because it belongs to our beautiful earth and rather than that it's just being made in a vast amount just to make a small t-shirt that is being sold and the people that make the t-shirts are not being paid even close to enough what they should be paid so I chose to choose an ethical and sustainable brand to talk to you guys about called Patagonia um, Patagonia um, not only do they use sustainable materials, but they also have many different theories that are opposite approaches um, compared to other companies. Um, Patagonia is one of those brands that you can almost look it up anywhere at all, and it will not have the same reviews as like Nike, Under Armour, um, and like almost any clothes clothing brand that you look up just has like a bad review about it about its labor conditions um about its materials but patagonia is one that really stood out to me um so patagonia uses a high percentage of products um that are made from recyclable fabrics including polyester nylon and wool um and most importantly patagonia's business model is different it rejects fashion by creating high quality, long lasting products, and it offers a repair and reuse system. So you can return them and they can fix it for you if it breaks or something because they're promising you that they're giving you a durable product. And Patagonia has also conducted research with industry bodies on the impact of microplastics, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, so what sets Patagonia apart from other brands? Um, not only do they use sustainable materials, but they also have different theories that are opposite approaches from other companies. For example, it even goes as far to discourage customers from purchasing too many of its products. Um, and one of the most interesting things about Patagonia is that the brand has a model called Don't Buy This Jacket, and it was a campaign a few years ago, and it was designed to expose the issues of consumerism head on. Um, Patagonia's motto is that buying less of its products is one major step shoppers can take to reduce their own eco footprint saying and here's a quote from the website it would be hypocritical for us to work for environmental change without encouraging customers to think before they buy 
Um, so how are they able to thrive as an ethical, ethically um, sourced company? Patagonia is able to thrive because instead of just using sustainable materials, they can catch the eyes of customers by thinking outside the box, um, by saying that you should not only buy what you need to buy. And from, sorry, they say you should buy basically the minimal amount of what you need to buy because although they're using products that are sustainable, which is great, it would defeat the purpose of them using these products if you were to keep buying the product successively because then they have to use more of the materials and it just kind of defeats the purpose of them using these materials um which is which i thought was very loyal because for example what sets them apart from other companies is their loyalty um other companies should first take the initiative if using sustainable material like patagonia um like Patagonia does in order to get more consumers to show that they care about the environment. And other companies should also see the loyalty that Patagonia has towards not just using sustainable materials to save the environment, but also caring about its customers' understandings towards their goals. Um, they don't buy, the Don't Buy This Jacket campaign, campaign is a perfect example of what I'm trying to say because it shows that they're doing the opposite of what other companies are doing, which would be to promote their products and advertise them and kind of just being like a race or a competition to just like buy, buy, buy my stuff um, as much as possible just to make a profit. But instead here, they have a purpose of, um, they have a purpose first mindset is what I want to call it and really want their customers to understand that the reason they're known to be such a good brand and very loyal towards their customers in the environment in terms of ending fast fashion is that they're not only using these materials, but they really want you to think outside the box and understand that you only need one of something that's really durable and it's not worth, you know, people per se buying other clothes excessively from other companies that are unethical because it then has an effect on the people overseas who are working tirelessly every day and are not getting paid a good amount. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really interesting because it's almost the opposite of what other, other companies are doing. Um, so how does the media portray this brand? Um, the media says almost nothing but good things about Patagonia due to their loyalty and sustainability. And it is the reason why they have been around for so long and why their customers stay so loyal to them. And I myself find the media to be a great tool in persuading me to buy Patagonia because if you research any other brand, almost any other brand that you can think of, like Nike, Under Armour, um, just about anything, they'll have a bad review of it um, in almost all categories. But Patagonia, due to their ethicalness and sustainability, the media has nothing to say about good things about them and that's the reason why I'll continue to buy it and why I just love the brand. I wear it almost every day. I love their hats. Um, I have a couple ski jackets that I use and I've had no problems with them. Almost none of them have ripped, broken or anything. So yeah, it's a great brand and um, I would really like to see other brands kind of take a step in their direction and um, be as ethical as they are. So. Yeah, that's all I got. Thanks a lot, guys.